Hi, my name is Stephen Phillips. Oh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Unfortunately for me, just before Christmas, I dropped my Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e on its edge. And to my horror, the screen cracked. Um, below you can see a picture of it uh, not, not long after I'd actually dropped it and the screen was still working a little bit but it actually even though I had some um, visual display originally after I dropped it as I tried to access it via the keyboard to try and um, save any files it um, unfortunately it just suddenly eventually died a death so anyway, I did try getting an um, adapter to plug it into my TV, um, a, a Type-C to an actual um, HDMI. And even though I could see the time flashing on the screen, I couldn't actually put the key, the code in to unlock it. Because I had one thing, I hadn't actually allowed for remote unlocking. Um, I had to enable that on the actual tablet before I had the accident. And also, even if I did managed to get past there I probably couldn't have actually put the um, the key numbers on the touch screen because I, I had a feeling the um, touch screen by then um, wasn't even functioning so after searching for a replacement LCD screen I uh, went on eBay as you do and the prices on eBay were quite high um, in relation to what I actually paid um, eventually and also um, there was a long delay some would actually have to come from Germany um, some were about 190 odd pound getting on to 200 so I went on the web um, Google unfortunately I suppose and eventually I found this some screen on a company called Lambda Lambda Tech 453 pound 61 which I thought was a lot better so I ordered it online they actually accepted PayPal and it probably arrived about within about a week or so so it didn't take too long anyway let's move on so after studying all the YouTube videos just to try and get a heads up on how you how I was going to attempt to replace it um, now I'd ordered the actual screen I was actually committed um, so the items of equipment I used <laughs> was a hairdryer, uh, which was a Remington Power 1600, two speed, uh, some plastic spudges, which I already had and pry tools, a uh, plastic suction cup, and I had a blower brush as well, whether to sort of sweep off any little debris I sort of anticipated there's going to be some. Yeah, a quick picture of my um, hairdryer, the Remington Power 1600. Just a few of the um, plastic uh, spudges I used. Um, the actual sucker, um, which was actually quite useful at the end. I should have used it a bit sooner. Uh, I had an airbrush and that plastic, the black plastic pry tool. Once I'd got an actual gap, that actually helped a lot. It had more strength. As you can see, I broke some of the um, little blue spludges. As you can see little bits chipped off. As you can see, my selection box of plastic spudges and pry tools, sucker and an uh, airbrush, which luckily I had in my um, cupboard. So, after studying the various YouTube videos and replacing the LCD, I did decided that my, my um, methodology would be heating the edge of the screen from the right hand side of the um, tablet in the area of the SD SIM card. As you can see, um, on the right hand side, you can see the power, the volume and the MSD SIM tray, which I removed. And on the left, that's where the ribbon cable actually connects into the um, into the tablet, into the actual main motherboard. So that's the area that's got to be a bit more careful of. In um, reality, the screen was broken, so you could say I couldn't do much damage, but I was worried about um, um, actually destroying or damaging the actual um, ribbon cable. This morning, 
I'm going to try and do a screen replacement on a Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e 10.5 inch SMT720. So here we have it. Now I understand um, the screen itself is completely cracked and is not working so I can't actually turn the tablet off. So I understand the ribbon is down here looking on top of the stab tablet you've got the camera at the top power buttons volume and SD SIM card so I'm going to take the SD SIM card completely out which maybe I'll check if it's been removed and then I'm going to start and try and open it from this side um, to actually open it I'm going to use this um, <laughs> hairdryer which I know isn't ideal but I've seen people do it on um, YouTube so I'll have a go and be careful and um, some plastic tools etc so I've got various ones here so I mean I've got the favorite ones you know like that um, I've got this as well but but mostly I'll try and use a, plast a plastic tools to try and prise it open carefully so anyway um, let's get this out of the way there's that and i'll just pause the video for one second okay let's um start to try and warm it up a, warm it up a little okay let's um, see so um okay i'll just i've just already unplugged that so I'll take out the um sim card holder with an sd card in there I put that carefully to the side. Now, let's see. That's the top. Okay. Okay. Let's go from the top here. We'll just peel it gently along here. Let's go. We got a <clears throat> I'm, I'm hoping it's not too stuck to the to the base, but we'll have to see. Just increase the power a little bit. Okay. Okay. trouble with the um, hair dryer it pulls everything everywhere so there's a little bit of heat into it so as I said we've got the um, sim card slot SD slot there so just that edge I know it's got a little bit of a um, it's coming away slightly already so I'm, I'm hoping to work it from there see it's sort of gone in there Yeah, so let's go. Gonna work backwards and forwards. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty stiff. Okay, let's um try a bit more. Let's um, go from here. Uh, it's, it's tight you know 
it's very tight so uh, maybe I need a a bit more heat in it well so I've got so I've gone round so I've gone round there a little bit so even though the screen is broke, so I suppose you could argue that I'm not trying to um, save a screen. But it's all coming a little bit looser. I think this is going to take some time. So I'm going to probably stop the camera for a while and then concentrate on it. So anyway, this is the start of it, so I'm going to stop it for now. Right, um, I'm, st I'm still at it. And um, let me see, I mean, I've, I've slowly get, it's getting in there deeper. And what I've been doing is I'm trying to heat it up locally, just so you're doing the, um, just, just so you're doing little areas when I'm going around the corner. And it's sort of gone around the corner now. You can see, um, hopefully, it's gone around the corner. So. So I'm gonna so what is some progress and it's and it's got in that area there so yeah I can see it coming away a little bit there it's just coming away a little bit just coming away so I'm gonna go try and do it a bit by bit. Little bits, little bits. Yeah, it's coming a bit. It's a bit helping me go around a bit more. So, what I think it is, it's a glue. Yeah, it's a, just easing that glue off by looking at it. Try and come round this corner now. Now I've got a technique. Oh, I'm around this edge now. It's, it's sort of coming. It's got all the glues coming. I'll do a little bit more there. This is a deli. I think this is a delicate bit more. Right? I'm gonna do a little bit now at a time. You can see the glues coming up. Well, I've got to go around this corner. Now I'm going to hit, hit this corner. Now, yeah, the glue's coming more now. It's getting more. It's resisting less, which is good. I mean, one thing remember: always pushes it in from the side. Don't go down. Go to the edge of a screen. I mean, one YouTuber actually made that comment, and luckily. Well, they're sharing that knowledge. I realise then you've got to come from the side of a screen. Now it's it's, it's clipped back in. Now it's annoying. So I'm going to go back, perhaps back, back down here, just to try and get behind the screen again. God, that's, that's amazing. It's gone back in. Oh, it's annoying, isn't it? I had the edge up, and then it's. I can't get into the side again. Let's have a look. Um, I know it's probably it's probably glued itself again back in. That'd be nice. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? But I've got. Oh, that's it. Just gotta get get your fingers in there. Let's put this light up a bit more. Kitchen, that's it. Oh, that's a bit better, hopefully. I can see a bit more light. Uh, perhaps the um, moral of the story is: is once you've started, don't stop. Because I said it was coming up. Honestly, just temp. I think it. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon it's really good. Mm. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to... I've got a... I don't want to pull it down behind. There's a cable on this side. So I want to be careful of a ribbon. I just don't know I've got this. Right, let's go around this corner this time. Come on, we'll come around the corner. Not gonna... Right, we've got the corner. I'm going to do this corner first. Keep the corner up a little bit. Just so I get it round that corner. Right, I've gone right around that, so. Come on. I mean, this side, I'm obviously safer. The SIM card side, you're a lot safer. I mean, not that the screen's any good, but yeah. Right, we're going around. It's slowly easing up. Tell you what, I was going in the wrong area, I think, there. I think there's an actual, some sort of trimming that I was moving. Right, okay. I've got quite a big gap now. Quite a big gap. Yeah, quite a big gap. You know? At least I've got here a prize in there, so there. The annoying thing is when it goes back in. Oh, I've got my suction things, haven't I? Press them. Got these suctions. Well, are they going to help? I don't know. All right. Okay. Let's see. There we are. Ah, the clips just come off. The clip, oh, I must have just I must push on, isn't it? That clip. So that's a tablet opened. Okay, so I'm gonna take it off. So that's the old screen, and that's the, the base of the tablet, and that just pushes that. Must just push in, mustn't it? I saw them on YouTube, and they seem to just push it in. That's one thing, but it actually fell off, which I'm not sure was a good thing, but we'll see. Anyway, that's the first stage. I'm going to just clean this glue up now, um, in a minute. So, yeah, so that's, that's it. So, your know, hair dryer did work. Right, okay, let me carry on now. I'll tell you one thing about the tablet was, when I lost the screen, I plugged it in my um, TV with a USB and a HDMI, HDMI lead connection. Um, like, a, was it a... Uh, and then it actually, I could see the um, time flashing by on the screen, but I couldn't unlock it because I hadn't set up unlock on the tablet. But anyway, well, that's my camera done. Anyway, sorry about that. It's going to stop. Right, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to clean the glue off. Right, I'm just going to. There's lots of, you can see the glue's quite hard, stuck on the edges in here. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. But, you know, it, it doesn't seem nothing special with this glue they put on. But I'm going to get, kind of get this edge off. Mm. So I'm just going to go around and get it. It's, uh, get it, it just scrapes off. It's nothing, I said it, it doesn't. No wonder it come off easier than expected. At first I thought it's really embedded on, but I don't, it's obviously not the case. They, they must just put a splodge of glue around the edge and heat it up a little bit. And then Bob's your uncle. Right, there we go, there we go round. So really I'm just going to keep going round like this and um, remove the glue anyway. Yeah, so... So, right, okay. 
Well, I'm going to stop the video again because I don't think there's a lot more to say about that really but you can see I uh, get a little job to see it in the camera but it's um, It probably won't focus in the light with it. Anyway, I'll carry on. Persevere. Thank you. Right. Right, I've cleaned um, most of the glue off here. I mean, yeah, it looks I've got some on the edges there, but I've gone. Yeah, I was thinking whether just to try and use the old glue to stick it back in, but I'm going to be try and be positive if it works okay. Um, it obviously won't be waterproof again, but I may buy a better case for one thing, which will enclose it all in one. And if it goes wrong, I need to replace the battery. Hopefully, it'll be easy peasy to um. Take it apart next time. But anyway, it all looks pretty clean anyway. And as I said, that glue, it just, it, it just, there well, you can see it there in the hand. Yeah, there it is. It's, it does seem nothing special. I very much doubt if it's waterproof in the first place, but you know, my main thing is to make sure when it's in, the screen don't fall out. Anyway, we'll check that in a minute. Right. I've got the new screen here, so as you can see, it's looking good. Uh, GH9723184 a and it says it's made from, um, made in Vietnam, and it's a Mia Display Octa SM T725. Um, okay, made in 2022, so it's quite an old one, isn't it? Okay, so here we have it in this packet here. Yeah, all ready to go. <coughs> right, as I said, I've got the new screen in here in this packet. I got the screen, incidentally, from a company called um, Lamba. Lambda Tech, Lambda, Lambda, Lambda Tech, um, and they actually delivered it. It cost about £155, uh, 26p with VAT, etc. 155, 26. Um, we actually had some, um, it, it was actually um, a pretty quick delivery, you know, probably took about uh, just over a week, week and a half to get here. It got here before Christmas. Which was a pretty good thing. Um, I did go on eBay. They were around 170 to 80 pound there, so I just thought, well, I'll try this company. And as I said, it all it was all tracked and everything, so it was all, it's all good. Hopefully, I'll test it out in a minute. So I'm gonna try and fit the new screen now. So let's see how this goes. It's got sort of gloves here. And it's all I mean, the, the nightmare for me now is I know it's, the tablet's still powered up. Um, one tip is that you need to unlock your tablets for so when you connect it to your TV, you can actually unlock it. So here we got it there. Um, must, I mean, that should be there, should it? A bit of plastic there. So it's all looking good there. So what I've got to do is just plug, plug, plug the thing in and see what happens. That's my first thing. So you've probably got a bit of movement on it by the look of it. It's got to be down there, isn't it? I'm just going to... One sec here, I've got to do this. Right, let's have another look at this. I, 
I decided to put my um, better glasses on for this so I can actually see it. The big problem is even these glasses don't want to focus. I mean, there's obviously a better technique for putting these in. Maybe you've got to. Um, My problem is I can't, even these glasses don't let me see it very good. Yeah, you've got, got to have a let's, um, let me have a look. I need a bit more light, I think. Okay. Yeah, just one more thing. I've I've actually found there's all this blue tape around the edges. Now that feels sticky, so maybe it's maybe it sticks itself on by the feel of it. So I've just got to take the rest of this blue stuff off. And um, so I thought, just thought I'd mention this because I didn't I didn't expect it until obviously I was I was keen to shut the tablet down, but I've cut I've shut the tablet down, so um, so at least I've got the power off to it now. So when I get this back on again I can have a look okay but but just what I'd mention this blue tape which I've looked at the old one it doesn't seem to have it on the old screen so it must be something to do with the, um, maybe it's a type of adhesive they put on it okay right just what I'd mention that yeah so I've got I've sort of stuck it all back in I I'd you definitely got to take all this off for gluing it and I had to get a little there was was actually little um, pieces sticking out of it if I look carefully but I didn't always notice it but when I looked so each one can be taken off just needs to be a little trap for you to be set up so now hopefully <laughs> I had that problem with the cable again that cable keeps coming off easily once you um, lift the lift the screen up and then I had the problem with um, because I had took this um, backing off for the glue, it started when to keep sticking, so that was a pain. But anyway, hopefully that'll be good. But anyway, I've got um, got that working again. Uh, let me just um, check that and log back in. I'll just see if I so let's see. At least I got my data back, and and hopefully um, if I ever have to uh, take the lid off again, I'll have better access. But I'll tell you what, that's a lesson learned um, when you um, don't let the tablet slip out of your hand and then it hit, 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 hit the floor on the edge and took the screen out, you know. And then it got worse because at first I could I could see so much of a screen and then I tried to um, log on to it and then it went from bad to worse. So anyway, um, that's good. Let's look at the settings here. I'm going to look at um, down the bottom. Care, remote support, accessibility, advanced features, location. Yeah, it's all, all good stuff. Yeah, and um, more connections. And uh, well, let's just see. Um, um, USB. I put USB. Hopefully, that will find the connection I want. USB is looking. Oh, slow. Shouldn't be, um, no, okay. I'll have a look, I'll have a look at that scene. I just want to do the unlock screen part. I eventually found 
the remote unlocking option. It's under settings, biometrics and security, find my mobile, then turn on remote unlock and then you'll have to type your pin. Hopefully that may be useful in case one day you want to um, plug it into your TV via the HDMI when the screen goes. I also think you should probably buy uh, maybe a Bluetooth keyboard, which is I'm thinking of that as well, which may help in case a uh, touchpad goes wrong when you crack the screen next. Hopefully I won't do that again though. No. So, to remotely um, unlock your tablet via um, the USB to HDMI connection to the TV, you've got to go to Biometrics and Security, and then Find My Mobile, and then you can see Remote Unlock on there. So, just remember, it took me a while to had to search for it on the menu, to be honest, and work backwards. Okay, thank you. Bye. Well, that's about it. Um, just to say the tablet is still working okay and the screen is very responsive. Um, so, just to say that um, this video was for guidance only really. Um, so please make your own judgment on risking replacing your LCD screen. In my case, the screen was completely trashed. I mentioned in the video the tablet was a T720, it was actually a T725, but I think the, the, they, use, they all use the same screen anyway. So, thanks for everyone who managed to watch this video until the end. Okay, goodbye.